Hi everyone. I haven't made a video in like three weeks now, so the only thing we're gonna do today is look at this aerial photograph taken in 1951 of the D.O.W. Scranton Yard. Just to show you a few buildings and things that were left behind. I mean, I mean, like the buildings that were there before some of them were torn down. So there's the sand tower that was used to fill the used for sand for the locomotives, as you can see right here, filling up with sand. There's the mine stores building right there. I think it was used for storage, and the mine stores building. The, the only thing you could find left of it is the foundation of it. If you go to Steentown and you and you see a foundation, that was the that's the foundation of this building right here. And if you look in the layout, you could see another building, and it's back to 1950, 1937. And it there used to be a building called the Pattern Shop. In the pattern shop, I don't know what the pattern shop was made for, but it it was demolished. I don't know around the 1940s. I don't know. And the coal trestle. There's a coal being loaded onto the cars. And here it is. Like they're getting like you know, up the four percent grade up to the coal trestle. And this coal trestle was used for, because the 080 is used to push the coal all the way up to the top right here up and dump it into the coal pockets. And the only thing you could find left of it is the foundations right here and the, and the concrete ramp right there. There's bridge 60 for the main line. And the main line goes right over here. There's Matt Street Tower. Pretty cool. And that's W Switcher right there. There's the other roundhouse that used to be right there for the streetcars. There's the gas house used to make gas, and the 280s used to push the cars all the way back here so they could use coal for the gas house. And there's all the way in the back the oil house. That was used for storing lubricating oil, car oil, car oil, steam locomotive oil, all different types of oil. And there's the location of the ash pans. The ash 400 foot long ash pans were right here. There's the roundhouse. Use the original 90 foot turntable. And by 1955, most so the roundhouse was torn down because D.O.N.W. was like transitioned to diesel completely. But this aerial photograph was taken in 1951 and they were rapidly expanding the diesel fleet. Like, I can't believe it. And if you, this, the original site of the Electric City Trolley Museum is right here. The Dixon Manufacturing Company was right here. And uh, they used to make locomotive parts there and stuff like that. And let's see if I can. And there's the the small freight yard right here. There's the store cars at. There's the shops. They were dated back to 1865. That's old. Right here is the other turntable in the back. I just call it the turntable in the back. I don't know why I call it that, but this was used. That was the original site of the 1865 roundhouse. And then it used to be a, a 60 foot turntable, but they turned it into a 19, 90 foot turntable in, in prior to World War One. And the owned Scranton Yard in 1951. All right. Just let you know you're on the road to Vance Society in the Phoebe Snow. See you next time.